What's up guys and girls, welcome to another video. Today I have an absolute cracker in my possession. I have a Brompton that has been electrified by ARCC bikes. Not only is it Supreme Engineering from Brompton, it is also Supreme Engineering from ARCC. They have done a cracking job. This bike is a lot of fun and it begs the question, is this the best electrified folding bike on the market? Now, this video is jam-packed, full of awesome content, features, etc. So I've kind of broken it down into two sections. First, I'm gonna look at the specifications of the bike, look over all the details and how it's been electrified. I will then go for a ride and look at things like ride quality, what it's like going uphill. I will also check out the launch control. That's right, Let's people, go. this electrified Brompton has launch control. And I will give my general feedback on what it's like to ride this electrified Brompton. Now, a big thank you to ARCC Bikes who sent this test Brompton out, this electrified test Brompton, for me to make some videos and create some cool content. So ARCC as a company electrified Bromptons, they also electrify Moltons, and they have a couple of bikes for themselves. But what they do is they retrofit these kits to Brompton. So Brompton themselves don't retrofit. You can't send a Brompton without electrification to Brompton for them to add it. So that's where ARC, ARCC really come into their own. Now, in terms of electrification kits on the market for folding bikes, there's a few options. You have Switch, Kit, Nano. You can also buy an electric Brompton directly from Brompton. They all have their, their features. To be honest, having done the research extensively for this video, I do think that this is the most feature packed, this electrified Brompton from ARCC. So let's get into all of the techie details, which we love. Firstly, you have a little power controller that's on your handlebars, and this will connect automatically to the E squared pod, which is what the battery slides into. And what this does, it creates a Bluetooth connection between the controller and the pod itself, allowing you to adjust the power and the modes as you are actually riding. Now to sync it all up and to turn the electrification on, you can simply tap the controller controller onto the E squared pod and that turns it on and then you do the same to turn it off. So that's a nice neat little feature and a way to sync them up. I've been riding this bike extensively over the last two, three days and there are two modes, automatic and manual. Now automatic is going to use the gradient sensor and the torque sensor which are on the bike, which is part of the installation. And it's gonna use them to work out how much power it should give you. Manual, you set the amount of power you want and that is the amount of power you get. So when you are pedaling on a flat, it will give you that power. When you're pedaling uphill, it will give you that power. So I touched upon it just then, but the gradient sensor and the torque sensor are two very important Important things because they communicate with the E squared pod and that gives you smooth power delivery rather than a boost and a you know a jolt it doesn't catch you by surprise now other kits do it on just a cadence sensor that is not as smooth or the power delivery isn't as smooth as this ARCC electrification kit launch control now this is an awesome feature I'm gonna look at it later in the video but essentially there is a way to get four seconds of full boost off the lights it works a treat and it was great when I was commuting through London on this bike so I'll show you that later in the video now all of the power is delivered through a 250 watt motor in the front wheel it is nice and compact the batteries now this is a massive win because ARCC in the electrification process chose to use Bosch power tool batteries which are readily available at various retailers this means you can go and pick another one up you can have multiple they're also relatively small and you have the nice little covering over the battery so when it's on the front it looks really unintrusive now I have some stats on the battery which are you can get 4 amp 6 amp and 9 amp batteries so the distance you can ride will vary depending on which amp you have um, it is roughly 1.3 kilos of battery. Now on the four amp, you can get roughly 20 miles and on the six amp, you can get 30 to 35 miles. It also takes 100 minutes to charge the Bosch batteries from a main charger. Now just be aware that the battery life is gonna vary depending on various factors, right away, tire pressure, wind, all kinds, all right? But that gives you a rough idea of how long the battery will last. As part of the process as well, ARCC bikes also strengthen the front forks on the Brompton. There are brake switches in both of the brakes. Now what this is, is when you pull the brakes in, it's gonna cut the motor instantaneously, okay? So if you brake, it will stop the motor. You won't be motoring along and braking, you know, sort of pulling in both directions if you like. 
There are also charging points on the battery. Now, this is a great little touch. If you ride with your phone um, and you use that to navigate, etc., then you can plug that into the actual battery itself. Also good if you're just out and about running out of battery, you can plug your phone in. There is also an app that has been developed alongside this, which I find crazy, and that can act like the controller, so you can have that as well on your phone on the bike, and you can control everything, all the settings from there, which is pretty extensive. It shows you how in-depth this kit actually is, that they have an app. Now, some other points with ARCC, which is pretty impressive in my opinion, and it is a, a sign or a vote of confidence within themselves, which is awesome to see. Electrifying at Brompton will void the warranty you have with Brompton. So what ARCC do is they take on that warranty. So if you have a two-year warranty left on your Brompton, they will take that on. As well as that, all of their kit has a five-year warranty. So for five years, you're covered. If that is not a sign of confidence, then I don't know what is. Now, there are some main points with these bikes and probably one of the biggest is the power delivery. And on this bike, you have automatic and manual mode. Now, I said before I've used these extensively and they are both very, very good. I would describe automatic as if I was just fitter, right? It just gives me more power when I need it. It feels like it's coming in, going uphill, it gives me more. So it feels like it's improving my fitness. Manual feels a bit more like like, okay, I'm pedaling, then it takes me, you know, it, it pushes you along, pulls you along, should I say. So I enjoyed both. I think manual is more fun, maybe. Automatic would probably maybe be better for longer rides. I would say swap between them, see what works, see what power works for you as well. That's gonna depend on rider weight. If you're a heavier rider, you may wanna have more power. If you're a lighter rider, less power, etc., etc. Or the conditions. If you're riding into a headwind for five miles, you want, might want more power as well. Again, subscribe because my commute video will be coming out. Other videos where I compare how much energy is actually saved will be coming out, so yeah. Subscribe, they'll be in the pipeline soon. There are a few points that obviously people who are new to Brompton, maybe who haven't been on them, who watch this channel, or just in general, you might be interested what it's like compared to say road bikes or gravel bikes, etc., which I have sitting just there, which is my normal way of cycling. Now, compared to a road bike, it's completely different. It is a much more leisurely process, far less effort, I would say. Um, a road bike kind of is there to be ridden faster. So on this electrified Brompton, I felt much more chilled. It was very interesting in terms of the ride quality. The little wheels do obviously make a difference. I find that the bigger wheels, obviously you roll more. So you, you kind of, when you stop pedaling, you get more roll, you just kind of keep your momentum. But with the electrification, that kind of nullifies that out. Um, in terms of bumps in the road, or paths, whatever, you can feel them, but nothing more than, than a road bike, to be honest. Next up, how fast does this Brompton go and up to what speed? Now, this is a very good question because this is set by the law. This is not a decision by ARCC bikes. It will assist you up to 15 mile an hour and then it won't assist anymore. But this is true for all electrified bikes. But having said that, commuting through London, riding through London, you are rarely just cruising at high speed for very long. You are stopping at lights like it's going out of fashion. So what I experienced in that is it didn't make too much of a difference. It was only if I had a long straight road, which again is rare when you're like commuting or zipping between places. Getting you up to 15 mile an hour, honestly, is so nippy. It is really, really nippy, especially if you're used to, to having clipping pedals, because normally when you pull off, you're clipping in, right? You're trying to clip a pedal in. Whereas with this, you kind of have the launch control and it just boosts away. So what I found myself doing is just hovering around at a speed where it was assisting and not assisting around 15 mile an hour. And I didn't really need to go above that. I just kind of sat there. It gave me a little bit of boost. I pedaled, it gave me a boost. So it works really, really well. Going uphill. Now, having said what I've just said about 15 mile an hour, when you're going uphill, it's unlikely that you are gonna be going more than 15 mile an hour. So you get constant boost uphill. So this is where it probably makes the biggest difference. Road through London, there's a relatively big-ish hill that I went up and it just gave me constant boost. Normally at the top, you know, I would feel it a little bit. Whereas with this, it was such a leisurely potter up the hill. I had full power on um, and I just got up it. That's what I can say, I just got up it. So it really, really does work uphill. So if that's something you would like, something you need, then this Electrify Prompton definitely does the job well. Now, launch control is both brilliant and fun. This bike is very intelligent in that regard. Now, when I saw that, that it had this, I thought, you know, it might be a bit gimmicky or it might be hard to actually boost it. I went through London the other day and it was brilliant. It was brilliant because at the lights, you get four seconds of full power plus your power. You get up to speed so quick. You're, you're off the lights, you're in front of other bikes, in front of other cars. 
um, it works really, really well. Now to activate the launch control, what you need to do is hold both brakes in. When you hold both brakes in, you will see on the little controller, you'll get a green light on the far left and far right. So that knows both brakes are in. Then you put pressure down on the left pedal. When you put pressure down on the left pedal, all the lights will go green on the Bluetooth controller. Then you are ready to go. You can just hold like that. Then as soon as you wanna go, let go of the brakes, full power comes in and off you go. And it is very, very quick, I must admit. I've ridden through London, commuted for two years. I understand what it means to get away quickly off the lights. And I understand how much safer it is to get away quickly in front of other cars, in front of other bikes. So I have used this bike for three days now and I wanted to highlight some key points that I thought are beneficial um, or the things that I liked. So number one, the smooth delivery of power. It never really feels like you're being jerked, right? It never feels like it suddenly gives you power when you don't need it. So the smooth delivery of power was brilliant. Launch control, as I've just said, was absolutely amazing. That's the, probably the best feature for me. It's fun, it works, it's efficient, it's safe. So massive win there. If your battery does run out, then the bike is essentially the same as a normal Brompton without a battery. So if you don't have any batteries, you just want to ride it, you can take the battery off and leave it. You have a tiny bit more weight in the front wheel because of the motor, but it's essentially the same as a standard Brompton. The build quality is fantastic. Now, if you've watched the channel, you will know I am all about the quality of the product, not just about what's advertised. And I will say that the build quality of this is fantastic. The Brompton is sturdy, strong, feels good. And so does the ARCC kit. Nothing feels weak, cheap. It feels like it's gonna last. I mean, they gave it a five year warranty, so that says it all. The batteries, you can simply go and buy Bosch batteries. So you can take as many as you want. They are also quite small. So that means you can just put a spare one in your bag. Now, two six amp batteries, you're gonna be able to do 60 odd miles now the best part of all of it for me is it is going to help people get out and ride or commute to work it will enable people to go and ride maybe if you are older you can get this bike and it will enable you to ride you will know that anything that gets anyone cycling I am all for, right? So I am all for this. So that concludes the review of this ARCC Electrified Brompton. What a bike it is. It's been great fun using it. Watch out, subscribe for some more videos on this bike. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I will do my best to answer them. If not, I will ask ARCC bikes themselves. And as always, fine people, self-love, safe riding.